First tonight, the wheat harvest in Kansas is a bit behind, meaning there are many farmers with work to do. Capitol Bureau reporter Alec Gardner explains the delay. It's taken longer than many farmers would like to get out in the fields, but when they do, they're enjoying the results they see. 65% of the wheat that's been harvested in the state has been good to excellent condition. But there's still much to be cut as the state is running 10% behind schedule. We're later because we've had some rain delays. Um, you have to wait for the wheat to dry down, so any kind of a shower overnight or high humidity really slows down the, the harvest. Just north of Wilsey, Kansas, Daryl Strauss's dad, Lawrence, grows wheat. On Wednesday, there was a bit of a holdup getting equipment to the field. It's the life of the farmer. It's a busy time. Um, you know, uh, some of them are still putting up hay in the area. I mean, that's another thing. Or if they're ranching, they're dealing with cattle issues. Uh, and so every Everything happens at once, it seems like. But that didn't mean things aren't getting done. Part of the land is being used by the Kansas Foundation Seed Project at K-State. Fourteen different varieties of wheat were planted this year. It's an effort to see which seed grows the best in certain climates. So a smaller combine was used to collect the samples until the rest of the crop could be cut. One of the difficult decisions farmers have now is what variety works best for me? Is it tolerant to a certain type of disease or a certain condition that farmers may be concerned about? Like is, if their soils are more acidic, will it, will it do well in that area? For the other wheat fields, the grain is sold off for a profit. And the work doesn't stop for the Strouts. They're already planting soybeans in the wheat stubble. Reporting in Morris County, I'm Alec Gartner.